So I want to show you guys a video. This is me six months ago. This video, I'm running a marathon without training. But after doing that marathon, I've gotten into training a lot more and wanted to share that training with you guys. Also, I cut my hair because I have like a fancy dinner tonight. Uh, that's not the point. Sorry for the weird like intro. I'm trying to do like a hook type of thing. I feel like if I do a hook to the video, people will watch the video more. For me though, people just don't seem to watch my videos either way, which is understandable. In fact, I would even go as to say it's more than understandable. Anyway, here's the video. All right, opening. Thanks for me. Today I wanted to go over my workout routine for the week. Right now I'm doing running and lifting every day. Right now my routine consists of around 12 to 13 workouts per week. I've written it all down on my school calendar for you guys. The routine I'm gonna go over is what I did this past week. It's kind of my weekly routine. A lot of times YouTubers will do like a day in the life and then the video that they show you is just not going to be even related to what their life is about at all it'll just be completely fake and exaggerated and i didn't want to do that so i'm just going to go over what i did last week on monday i did eight miles aerobic aerobic basically means you run it fast but not like you don't sprint or anything you just basically do eight miles to where the point where you're like hurting a lot it's kind of like a medium pace you know and after the eight miles i would hit chest monday chest day so my routine right now is in the morning, I'll do my run first thing in the morning, and then I'll go ahead and just go straight to the gym, lift weights, come back, and then go along with all about my day. And so that can be like terrible sometimes. Like, you run eight miles, I'm not, I'm a human being, okay? You know how hard it is to lift a weight after you run eight miles? Like it's not easy. I'm not gonna go over my lifting routine for every single day. All right, next up on Tuesday, we have seven miles easy. You really just wanna just chill, okay, on this day. It is kind of like my rest day before the hard workout, which is on Wednesday. It's not supposed to be very difficult, enjoy it. And then after we run the seven miles, we come back, hit the gym, and we hit back, all right? So chest, back, Wednesday, what do you think we're gonna hit? Legs, we're gonna, like speaking of wednesday wednesday is my hard day okay this is the day where it's like goodness gracious like we're pushing it we're gonna do some sort of running workout that involves pushing yourself a lot and then after that we come back to the gym and we hit legs if you want to hurt yourself go run a lot and come back and hit legs thursday we hit arms we're gonna be going for four to five miles easy okay your legs are gonna be distraught after wednesday's workout last week i did four miles easy i was just super chill about it this is supposed to be a day where you're just recovering it's supposed to be kind of fun i hit arms this day it was great next up we have friday friday is supposed to be another little rest day okay nothing crazy should be happening honestly you're pre you're still gonna be very sore from wednesday and just the rest of the week in general because this is a lot so on friday i usually do five miles just super easy again and then i hit chest and back and lastly on saturday we have our long run which is just so fun saturday we have our long run which is usually 12 to 14 miles last week i did 14 the week before i did 14 also and it's super like for, it's very easy miles it's not anything fast if you do it anything faster than easy it's just gonna you won't make it 14. Months. I will say the weightlifting stuff does change a little bit uh, every week to week. What I'm starting to do normally is I'll do legs on Monday, chest Tuesday, back Wednesday. I don't really like to hit legs after my hard workout on Wednesday. It's just not good. Now I hit legs again on Thursday and then chest and back on Friday and then Saturday. That way I won't have to do any lifting because in this one I'm showing you right now, let's do 14 miles on Saturday and then hit legs. And that's just, that never happened. I did it once and it was the worst thing that's ever awful. So yeah, I just want to share my little workout routine with you guys. I know it's nothing crazy, but if you do do this routine, you don't have to run as much as me. Right now I'm training for a half marathon slash marathon. Heck, if you want to, you don't have to do any of the running. You can do all of the lifting instead. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, subscribe and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.